Okay, so uh, Michael Brown, Solar Ray, um, uh, continuing series of answering questions for Renewable Nation. But the latest question comes from Nicole in beautiful South Florida. Good morning, my name is Nicole from beautiful sunny South Florida. Down here in South Florida, we get a ton of hurricanes. So my question is, is there a way to protect your solar panels during a hurricane without removing them? That way you can continue to receive power after the storm. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day, bye bye now. And the answer to that is, is before you have them installed, make sure that you have a vetted contractor and they have a reputation of quality uh, because every solar system uh, should be um, permitted through your local building department, which means that the structural uh, attachments and the method in which it's attached should be engineered um, uh, going through a certified en engineer to verify how it should be installed. And the reason why you want to make sure, and that's required just to get the permit, the building permit, right? So the reason why you want to make sure that you're dealing with a vetted, experienced contractor with references um, is to show some longevity that they have been doing this, okay? So uh, it's a lot more likely that not only the contractor is going to be paying more attention to the, uh, the engineering, but that their employees will have guidelines that they have to work under so that everything is done according to the engineering. Now, if that's done, then the likelihood of anything happening with your solar modules on the roof is, is very low. In fact, most of the attachments for solar modules to roofs and structural members on roofs far exceed what's necessary for roof cladding and shingles and, and even the decking on your roof. So whereas those are usually only attached with uh, um, uh, nails, uh, um, the solar modules are always attached to your roof with lag bolts, um, multiple lag bolts if it's just in decking and uh, larger lag bolts, 5 16 is usually the minimum if they're actually going into trusses. Um, and then the depth uh, of those bolts will be dictated by the engineering. Um, and standard in Florida, other places not necessarily, but standard in Florida uh, is uh, stainless steel hardware. So um, the, the likelihood of them coming off uh, during a hurricane is not likely unless it's a catastrophic event and then all bets are off. Just like they're off regardless of what windows you buy, regardless of what roof you buy, regardless of uh, how well built your house is, uh, which is kind of uh, demonstrated by what happened in the Bahamas this year, right? So most of those homes and everything were actually concrete construction with concrete roofs. Um, so if you are in a catastrophic situation, uh, your solar system is the least of your problem. Again, um, so long as you're dealing with a reputable, experienced contractor that is following building code and your uh, system and your uh, photovoltaic array is uh, attached according to uh, signed and sealed engineering, and that also passes the muster for the building department, you're good to go. You don't have to get up there and take anything down. Now, as far as pool systems go, these are mats of plastic and they're not designed, they're actually designed in very high wind situations to come off. <laughs> they have a very low um, threshold to wind, similar to like say the screen in a lanai or a Florida room. That's not designed for your hurricane winds, right? Because it would lift the whole structure off because it's a flexible, um, material. Anyways, uh, Michael Brown, Solar Ray, there's your answer.